hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for today's video it's going to be a tutorial video and I'm super excited about this because the last tutorial that I did was last year it's a tutorial about how I edit my TikTok videos and now I'm finally making a tutorial on how to edit your own YouTube videos but basically just the basics if you're looking for like a kind of complicated editing editing techniques so the video is not really for you this is perfect for those people who wanted to start YouTube what I'm gonna show you in this video is how I trim my videos how I add filters or color grade how I make intros and also effects, some simple animations, what font I use, just the basics. If you want to know how I edit my videos, just keep on watching and enjoy. I use my iPad for editing. What I do is I film using my phone, then I airdrop it in my iPad. It is much convenient for me because the iPad has much bigger screen and much bigger space compared to my phone. I can just easily airdrop it from my phone to my iPad. So the app that I use for editing is CapCut and I've been using it for two years now. This is the first editing app that I use. It's my first love. I'm currently learning a different type of editing software plus I wanted to learn another editing styles and much complicated editing like you know but I'm still gonna use CapCut because it's easier to use when creating content especially for TikTok and YouTube This is all the videos that I'm going to use for this tutorial. So it's a painting video and the first thing we're going to do is the trimming. For me, this really takes time because I really need to watch the videos again and cut all the excess parts that I don't need. And sometimes I want the videos to be quick and short so I'm cutting it like this so yeah like that As you can see here, the video doesn't really fit to the frame because it's on portrait mode. So what I do, I'm just going to zoom it in so that it will fit. So I'm just gonna do it to the other clips as well. I prefer this kind of format when I'm going to use the clips for Instagram Reels or on TikTok. And if I'm going to use it for YouTube, I'm just going to resize it or zoom it in just like what I did. My favorite part of editing. So I'm going to use the sepia filter under the style video. And I'm just adjusting it. I'm adding temperature, highlight, and I'm just adjusting it. It really depends on your videos and the lighting. I think I'm just I'm going to just apply it all of the clips. And for this clip, I'm still using the same filter, but the adjustment were kind of different because of the lighting. So for this, I'm just going to make it a little bit lighter. One of the reasons why I love editing on CapCut is because of the fonts. 
right now they are updating and adding a lot of fonts because I think last year I'm still like importing new fonts and now there's a lot of fonts to choose from right now this is my favorite font and I'm using it for like the main text or like the title for the subtitles I'm using a different one it is much thinner or like like smaller it's the analog I'm just making it a little bit different because I am promoting my shop as you can see adding a sound effects and I'm just going to search the name of the effect which is cheek pop this is the sound effect that I always use there's already a feature on CapCut that you can just like create auto captions and all you have to do is just edit some of the words or like change the font or the size I'm just doing the auto captions whenever I have like a talking video just like this you just have to click this white thing and then go to basic and then choose whatever like effects that you want or transition but most of the time i use the swipe right or the down or up i always use this transition in my videos because it's just simple and yeah For the intro, I always use this camera focus from the frame. It's an effect that looks like this. You can choose whatever frame that you like or you just leave it that way. Depends on you but I always use this frame. And then for the audio of the intro, I'm just going to extract a song or like a screen recording from a song that I screen recorded from a YouTube video that is copyright free so I'm just going to add it to the video Make sure to higher the resolution and the frame rate so that you will have a better quality video. Thanks so much for watching this video and if you learn something or have any suggestions, don't hesitate to comment down below. That's all and see you soon.